Good evening, members of the press. My name is Kit Chambers, and I'm the current athletic director here at North Dakota State University. I would first like to apologize for the recent actions some of our student athletes, as well as our coaches, have taken in order for us to have this conversation tonight. Also, for any student athlete who was unable to receive a scholarship due to this athlete on trial not completing the requirements of their scholarship. I would also like to say sorry from North Dakota State for not allowing a more deserving student a chance to compete at the collegiate level. Um, earlier today, I received news that our top sprint recruit, Bert Macklin, was currently um, not uh, maintaining their uh, requirements as a scholarship athlete for the track and field team. They have not competed or scored any points for the track team this year, and under NCAA rule, that is one of the requirements to become a scholarship athlete is you must be able to score, compete, um, to be able to compete or score any points um, at the collegiate level. It is to my understanding that our coach, Chris Pratt, is the head football coach, and he um, is behind this and has mentored Bert and allowed him the opportunity to gain a scholarship with our track and field team due to the lack of football scholarships that were offered by North Dakota State this past season. Um, in doing this, uh, we have talked with our current track coach, Steve Townsend, about why he uh, offered Bert the scholarship. And to my understanding, um, uh, Bert was first brought on uh, after posting impressive times in the 200 and 400 meter dash. And halfway through his senior season, we offered him a scholarship. Um, and as of now, we're still going to honor this scholarship until further action is taken. Um, as of now, I'd like to open up the floor to any questions. Tal. Um, who's at fault? For this, which coach, or is it the player, and what would the consequences be for that person? Um, I'd say at fault right now, we're going to talk more with uh, our coach, uh, head football coach, Coach Pratt, because we're, we believe that he's maybe done this in the past, and he um, hasn't, since with the lack of scholarships, he is using other um, fields of, or sports in order to bring in athletes that he sees that will help build his program and continue the success here at North Dakota State. Um, as far as punishment, um, we haven't discussed that. I'm gonna go back and talk with the council um, and decide what we think is the best way to address the situation. If Macklin had no athletic records or stats as an athlete, what made Coach um, Pratt think that he was skilled enough to even get a scholarship in the first place? Um, he was skilled enough. Uh, he was a great. Uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> oh, you're good. Um, mainly just from seeing his athleticism and speed, we just he just decided he'd be a good position guy. So there was no real way to actually give him a scholarship. He'd just be a role player and just kind of fill and put, get put into positions that he would help with the success of the team. Was the player aware that this was going on between the coaches? Um, Bert was aware of the situation. This was a, he was um, told by uh, Coach Pratt that he would be able to make the football team if he decided to walk on. And since he was not financially able to um, come to the college, that is why he, he was looking for a scholarship in a different athletic team. Yeah. How did you come across that information? Uh, we came across the information um, thanks to Coach Townsend. Um, since, like I said previously, um, Bert has yet to compete and or score any points for our team. And so that right there threw up a red flag. Um, he was showing up at the practices but not competing. We are hope hoping to bring this guy in to hopefully bring back a conference title this year. And so far it has not turned out that way and that's what brought this uh, up to us. Would this incident affect um, Macklin's eligibility in any way? Um, again, like I said, we're going to go back and we're going to talk with uh, some more members of our school council and decide if we're going to still um, honor this uh, scholarship that we've given him. Um, however, I do believe we may allow him to still compete, but the scholarship is still in question. <laughs> So you as the athletic, di athletic director didn't know about this whole situation? 
Uh, no, sir. Um, I did not know about the situation until it was came across my desk this afternoon. Um, it is something that I'm going to do. I'm going to backtrack and question and talk to all the freshman athletes and see if they've had any other uh, meetings like this with any other coaches or see if something like this isn't going on in any other athletic organization. Chris? How will the university handle this and how will you prevent it from happening again in the future? Um, to prevent this from happening in the future, we're going to have a more in-depth look at all our athletes. I personally will go and talk to all our freshmen and make sure that they are not aware that this is, an op this is not an opportunity for them to take advantage of us as a university and betray us and show blatant disregard for the NCAA as well as our university. Kyle. How could you be incompetent in this given situation? How could do you as an athletic director not be aware of a situation like this? <laughs> um, I was unaware of this situation again. Like I said, uh, uh, I do take blame for that. It was my fault. I should have been more aware and more in uh, touch with our athletics as a director, and I personally will work on that on my behalf, and um, I too will see, talk to the council and see if there's a punishment that I deserve for not being more aware of the surf, what's going on in our school and our athletic department. It's still surprising that Matt Flint, who had no records of staff, was offered a scholarship in the first place, which has me thinking, did, um, did Coach Pratt have a no Macklin prior? Is there some sort of prior relationship? Um, Coach Pratt, the only prior relationship he had with him was his junior and, season, junior and senior year, where uh, he did have stats and records. And like I said, he was a position player. And so we had his stats on that. But what brought him to the track program was his impressive times in the 200 and 400. And that's what gave us enough confidence to offer him a scholarship and hope that he would maintain and uh, keep up with the scholarship as well. Any other questions, guys? 